Have you ever stopped to think that sleeping in one position rather than another could have consequences? And have you ever thought that a specific sleeping position can have profound physical and spiritual implications? Thanks to this Zen story, you will immerse yourself in a fascinating journey into the world of sleep, and you will learn about a Buddhist practice passed down for millennia that holds unexpected secrets, sleeping in the fetal position. Because even if it may seem absurd, sleeping in one way rather than another can have important effects on our health. So stay until the end and you will discover what happens if you sleep in the fetal position and what are the physical and spiritual benefits that come with it. But before continuing, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to be informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. An ancient temple hidden in the mountains of Japan lived the elderly and wise monk Masao. Sitting in the quiet of the meditation hall, surrounded by his disciples, the master prepared to share ancient wisdom with them. Soon everyone would know how the fetal position was one of the best for physical well-being and emotional balance. Dear disciples, Masao began with his calm and reassuring voice. Today, I will talk to you about a practice that has accompanied human sleep since time immemorial the fetal position. Curling up in a baby shape, with your knees drawn up to your chest and your arms wrapped around your body, is just not a comfortable pose. Assuming this position holds profound meanings for our physical and spiritual health. Miss Sal paused, letting his words sink into his disciples' minds. Their watchful eyes were fixed on him, eager to absorb his every word. To further his words, Miss Sal invited a doctor, an expert in oriental medicine, to share his scientific knowledge on the benefits of the fetal position. The doctor, with his air of profound wisdom, smiled at the monk who had just given him the word and turned to the disciples. My dears, modern science confirms what was intuited in past centuries by the wise Buddhist monks. The fetal position has various advantages. For example, it promotes correct alignment of the spine, reducing muscle tension and promoting deeper and diaphragmatic breathing. This, in turn, improves oxygenation of the whole body, promoting restful sleep and combating insomnia. The fetal position, with your knees bent toward your chest and your spine in a natural C-curve, helps align your spine and reduce pressure on your spinal discs. This can be especially beneficial for those suffering from back pain, neck pain, or other postural problems. Additionally, assuming the fetal position can help relax back muscles and reduce tension, promoting deeper, more restful sleep. Additionally, sleeping on your left side, particularly in the fetal position, can help improve digestion. In this position, the stomach is in an optimal position to receive the flow of food from the esophagus and to empty properly into the intestine. And then the fetal position on the left side can help reduce acid reflux as the stomach is located below the esophagus, hindering the ascent of gastric juices. The doctor took some graphs and diagrams out of his bag, illustrating to his disciples the complex physiological mechanisms that are activated during sleep in the fetal position. His rigorous reasoning combined with the wisdom of Master Masao offered a complete vision of the benefits of this age-old practice. But the fetal position was not just science for the temple disciples. It was also legend, a common thread that ran through the ancient cultures of the world. Misao told them the story of Jizo Bosatsu, the Buddhist bodhisattva venerated as the protector of children and travelers. Jizo is often depicted in a fetal position, a symbol of his compassion and protective embrace towards defenseless souls, added the monk. The disciples listened spellbound to Misao's stories, imagining Jizo Bosatsu watching over them as they slept curled up in the shape of a fetus. Legend was intertwined with science, creating a magical atmosphere in the meditation hall. Misao, with his deep knowledge of Eastern philosophy, then led the disciples in an exploration of the symbolic meaning of the fetal position. Curling into the shape of a child, Misao explained, brings us back to our original state, to the moment when we were one with the mother, immersed in perfect harmony. In this position, 
we can rediscover inner peace, letting go of negative thoughts and worries to embrace a sense of tranquility and confidence. Masao's words resonated in the hearts of the disciples, inviting them to reflect on the profound connection between the sleep position and their mental state. Thanks to the enormous culture of Masao, philosophy combined with science and legend, creating a holistic vision of well-being. To make his words even more concrete, Masao invited some disciples to share their experiences with the fetal position. Taro told Hal, since he started sleeping in this position, he felt more rested and peaceful. Another disciple, Hanako, described how the fetal position had helped her overcome a period of anxiety and stress. And these testimonies strengthened the belief of all those present in the beneficial power of the fetal position. The meditation hall was filled with an atmosphere of stillness, deep reflection, and gratitude. Masao, with an enlightening smile, resumed his lesson, My dear disciples, do not underestimate the power of sleep. Every night, when we abandon ourselves to rest, we have the opportunity to regenerate, to heal our body and our mind. And the fetal position can be a powerful ally on this journey to well-being. The disciples nodded silently, gratefully absorbing their master's wisdom. Masao's words, in fact, had sparked a new awareness in them, inviting them to rediscover the profound value and symbolic meaning of the simple sleeping position. Masao, with his fatherly gaze, encouraged his disciples to experiment with the fetal position during sleep. Don't be afraid to change, he said in a solemn voice. Listen to your body and find the position that gives you the greatest well-being. The disciples, inspired by the words of their master, retreated to the quiet of their cells to prepare for the night's rest. That night, the Taiko Temple was enveloped in an atmosphere of peace and serenity, and the disciples, curled up like fetuses in their beds, fell asleep with a sense of renewed awareness and confidence. Over the next few weeks, the disciples carefully observed the benefits of the fetal position. Some of them woke up more rested, others experienced a reduction in stress and anxiety. Everyone, however, agreed on one thing. The fetal position had helped them find a sense of inner peace and connection with their deepest being. The fetal position thus became a symbol of well-being and harmony, a bridge between science, legend, and philosophy. Its simplicity and profound effectiveness made it accessible to all, regardless of culture, religion, or age. But what does this story teach us? That the search for physical and mental well-being is a journey that has its roots in ancient wisdom and is open to new scientific discoveries. The fetal position, with its simplicity and profound effectiveness, represents a universal symbol of this journey. An invitation to listen to our body to rediscover inner harmony and to embrace well-being at all 360 degrees. We should all try this position in order to discover what positive effects it could have in our specific situation.